Hey everyone and welcome back to Serena's Toy Room. Merry Christmas! And today I'm going to be doing a dog haul of the dolls I got for Christmas. Uh, these aren't the only things I got. I did get like clothes and some other items and stuff like makeup, perfumes, but I don't think you guys are too interested in that so I will just be focusing on the dolls today. Not to like brag or anything but like I think I did pretty well this year. I personally think this is like the best year in terms of like what I got for dolls so far. It definitely like outsold 2015 which is like the previous best year because I got a lot of dolls that year plus I got some on Boxing Day so I had like a lot. I didn't get as many as that year I don't think at least but I think the dolls I got are much better and it's always quality over quantity in my opinion. So let's get started. First is 2021 Holiday Barbie. She is like not my favorite holiday Barbie. She's definitely a step up from last year, that's for sure. Last year was a disaster, but I still got her anyways. <clears throat> I didn't get her on Christmas. I got her like on sale a couple of days later. But um, this one's definitely an improvement, but she's still not my favorite. But I still like picked her out for myself anyways, because I like, want to get, oh, you can like, you can like see the outline of the gift tag right in but anyways. Yeah, I picked her out for myself because I want to collect all the holiday Barbies even if I don't care for them too much. And I tried to pick out the best one. A lot of the ones at Toys R Us really, were really wonky. This one's like not perfect either, but like she was the best one. She'll be reviewed today. Stay tuned for that. But there is a far better holiday doll I got this year in my opinion, which is Rats Holiday Felicia. She's gorgeous. I was like debating whether or not if I should review her instead of Barbie today because I just want to open her so bad. But it's usually a tradition to open Barbie. So she will be tomorrow, but I can't wait to open her. She is way better than the Barbie, in my opinion. I mean, like Barbie's cute, but when you compare gorgeous to cute, gorgeous is, you know, gonna conquer cute. She's so beautiful. I got her at GameStop, if you're wondering. I know a lot of people have been looking for her. I like bought her and I like wrapped her for myself because I thought it'd be like more special to open her on Christmas and to open her just on any other day. I called and pre-ordered her at GameStop and um, they were supposed to call me like a couple of days later, but they didn't. So I had to call them and they said they were in and they set her aside for me and I went and picked her up. If you don't see them in your GameStop, then you can always just like call in and pre-order them. They also um, mentioned Sweetheart Megan, which is coming out next year. So you can also pre-order her when she's ready to be released. So yeah, just in case you're wanting to get a Felicia because I know she's highly sought after. Wrap this for myself. <laughs> I got it off eBay. Um, this is Bratz Girls Really Rock. Yasmin, I got her for like $30. I thought she would be like fun too wrap for myself because why not I deserve it I got Jade like for $50 off of Kijiji Yasmin's like super pretty I love her face next I got Miss Glam the present surprise doll she was on sale on Amazon and um my mom got it for me she was like $24 on sale originally she's like 50 Canadian so I thought that was a really good deal she was like literally half off so yeah she's really cute and I've been wanting her for a minute but I didn't want to like pay so much. She'll be fun to look at and review and stuff. As always, I'll be doing reviews like one day at a time. So today will be one doll, tomorrow another doll, and so on and so forth until I'm done. Um, which order they'll be in, I'm not sure. I only know today's going to be Barbie and tomorrow's going to be Felicia. The order from there will be, be determined later, but they'll all be reviewed eventually, don't worry. Next is Sunshine Girl. I did a review on Moonlight BB a couple months ago, if you want to see. But I've been wanting this doll so badly. She is gorgeous and her clothes are so adorable and very much the kind of style I would like to get into. So cute. I can't wait to open her. I got her um, the day after Black Friday, so it was like the Saturday. Um, I went to Toys R Us and picked out presents for my siblings and I picked this out for me. This is from my grandmother. She got me like a bag of goodies and stuff and in there was Rainbow High Winter Break Ruby Anderson. She called me one day when she was at Toys R Us and I told her like she asked me what I wanted and I said um, the Winter Break dolls are the sleepover dolls and they said um, the employees at Toys R Us said that the that 
or I think she went to Walmart actually. She went to Walmart and she asked the employees and they said that Slumber Party dolls are online only for some reason, even though I saw Brianna Dolce in store one time, but that's besides the point. But um, she said, okay, they don't have those dolls. Do you want a winter break doll? I said, sure. And I didn't know which one she picked out until um, the 23rd when I opened the gift she gave me. She let me open them early. So that's kind of why I didn't buy any of them because I didn't know which one I was going to get. And with my luck, I would have bought one that she already got me and then I'd have to return it. But yeah, she got me Ruby and she is super pretty. There's the back of them. I really want to get Violet. She's probably my favorite from the line. I really like Poppy too. So yeah, I love her second outfit. This is also from myself. Technically I got it for free because I traded some Ever After High dolls for her. I got Formal Funk Chloe in box. And I also, from the same lady the same day, I got um, Express It Sierra, like one of the 2010 era dolls. But I opened her that day because like I felt like it because she was like a simple doll. But um, Formal Funk Chloe was so special and I kind of wanted to just save her for Christmas. She's so cute. Some of her things are loose, but I'll be opening her anyways. I think only like her brush, but like whatever. She's so cute. Definitely worth the trade. This is from my mom. I picked it out. This is Fly Girl, the Britney Spears inspired OMG doll. I've been waiting for the Britney OMG forever. I wish she came out in the remix collection, but this is super fun too. She's obviously toxic inspired. The other girls are cute too, but obviously she ate them up being the Britney doll. The other two didn't stand a chance. But yeah, I can't wait to open her. She's so cute. And the last two dolls. This one I picked out a few weeks ago. Gamma Babe from my mom. She's super cute. Probably my favorite from the movie La Magic Line. And a couple of days ago when we were at Walmart picking out stocking stuffers, I picked out Spirit Queen because I love Halloween and she's very like witchy. I thought she'd be a lot of fun so I picked her out. Now I just need Starlet and that one. I forget her name. But yeah, she's super cute. So those are the dolls I got today. Merry Christmas, everyone. I hope you have a fabulous day. If you don't celebrate Christmas, I just hope you have a fabulous day regardless. Thank you for watching my haul. Tell me in the comments which doll is your favorite. And I'm curious as to what dolls you got, if you got any. Tell me in the comments below. And until next time, come or subscribe and see you in the next video. Bye, guys.